Chetwin's 2014 All Candidates Forum was Wednesday night. The event was hosted by the Chetwin Chamber of Commerce at the Pomeroy Inn and Suites. Incumbents Ernest Fanner, Rochelle Galbraith, and Alec Brownlee were present, as well as newcomers Dale Tremblay, Mel Deck, and Clay Bassendowski. Laura Weisgerber and Darren Shankel were unable to attend. The format of the evening was similar to speed dating. Candidates rotated through small groups of possible voters, speaking and answering questions. Welcome everyone to the 2014 All Candidates Forum for the District of Chelan for the election of councillors. Uh, this year we have all six uh, count our positions will be up for election. Uh, the past years, there's, the term is for three years, or has been for three years. Going forward, it's for four years. Each table of the six tables are numbered, and we have six candidates here tonight. And uh, they'll come uh, one to a table, and we'll give you 50 minutes to drill questions to them, ask ask about issues in the community or tell them about issues which they may not know about but you can inform them. Uh, also ask about their their uh, vision for the District of Chetwin in the future and where, where they see it's going. I think one of the things, the projects that we've done and see through, I, I absolutely want to see the, uh, the new medical clinic finished. Well I'd love to see the uh, new municipal hall done, but that was you know, and we have to thank the previous council for that, for the foresight to save that money so we could so we could do that because it was absolutely needed. I mean, we have the opportunity right now with one young young doctor who's already here. We we should try and encourage him to stay here. His father was a well respected, a well respected doctor here, and um, I, I think it's it's worth a shot to try and recruit him to stay personally. We're short of building sites, and I think we're going to have to look at expansion pretty soon, putting water and sewer into another area, whether it's a contractor going to do it and we'll supervise it, or the district gets after it and do it ourselves. Eh? So. Sorry, I don't mean to help. Uh, yeah, at the one table there, um, I, uh, we, we had family in town, so um, child care was never really an issue to us, but uh, I know that for young families moving here, if they need two incomes, child care is a, is a big deal, and Little Lights is just way bogged down, and there's no infant or toddler care, so that could be definitely something, uh, as far as if we want to talk development, that could definitely be something to develop if there was more of a child care. I'm sure that people do come up, look at the town, and see where they're going to send their kids, and, and there might not be a lot of options, so that might be something that could be a good idea in the short term. Hopefully. Um, the other one is their sewer system which nobody really thinks is very, uh, uh, there's not much glory in sewer, sewage but we've had issues and when we first got into council and for about a year we were polluting and we had we weren't meeting our permits and we recognized that that wasn't acceptable and staff did a really good job of going down and recognizing the issues, telling us what we had to do and, uh, and then we agreed that, to, to spend the money to, to uh, make the improvements that we needed. Um, of course, it's a huge project, so we've applied for grants, and how that project moves forward will really depend on whether we get the grants or not. If, I mean, if we can get the grants, the project, will, uh, we've, we've already committed so much money and, uh, and have the plan in place, so we're ready to go. Another fellow suggested a, a washroom for truckers at the... Uh like a shower and stuff for at the water station. Okay, yeah. And 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 uh, it's uh, in my mind uh, we're not trucker friendly enough in town. Uh, when you go to in or you know Tim Hortons in the morning and there's a truck on each side and all you can get through is one vehicle and this guy has to stop and let you through. We need to make it so that the truckers don't feel like they're taking up our town, like blocking us, so that they don't feel bad. They can relax and, and enjoy their stay here in Chetland. And, and if that's paving boulevards to give them somewhere to get off the street so that they, we can get by them and, and we can all live here and they can stop and enjoy the, the scenery and the carvings and you know, yeah, really enjoy they, it. The eight candidates are vying for six spots on council. Advanced voting is November 5th and 12th, and November 15th is your last chance to cast your ballot. If you are unable to attend, we will be playing the entire forum after the news at 6.30 p.m. on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, and Dawson Creek's event will be shown in its entirety on Wednesdays and Thursdays until the 15th. Fort St. John's All Candidates Forum will be held next week at Lido Theatre on November 3rd. 
It will be hosted by the city as well as the district's Chamber of Commerce and North Peace Savings and Credit Union. This year, candidates from Fort St. John's surrounding areas were also invited, including Taylor and Hudson's Hope. There are no tickets for this event and everyone is welcome.